It's a very big market. It sits on uh, 17 acres of land. Uh, the, the, the land was leased uh, for 29 years. The lease is uh, ending in uh, 2042. But though it has some challenges where we need the uh, government of Uganda's intervention, like the issue of the drainage uh, when it rains. We have also other critical issues where we need uh, the government of Uganda's intervention because uh, this market contributes a lot onto the Uganda's economy and uh, just a mere government's intervention will help. When we build this regional infrastructure, like we are building roads in Congo, these are not roads for DRC. They are roads actually for Uganda because they are going to take Ugandan goods. Now they have told me the road from Nimure up to the Juba, it requires uh, construction because it's poor and yet there are trucks which are taking their goods there, they need a road. This is something we are going again to look into as government with the responsible entities, Ministry of Works, and uh, we shall have a conversation as government and we see whether we can replicate what we are doing in Congo and we build that road. So when a conversation starts and then sometimes you hear people saying, you have not built all our roads here. Why are you building the road in Congo? Why are you building the road in South Sudan? Because those roads, they actually, our roads, because they are taking Ugandan goods, and they, sometimes they make even more economic sense than some of the roads that we will just be building in areas where you are not getting a return on that investment.